What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be taking a look at some brand new WWE Elites that are confirmed from Mattel from Ringside Collectibles. And it's kind of crazy because we actually confirmed this a long time ago on the channel. So it's pretty cool to know that, you know, MDT's got some credibility because I confirmed this a while back and now we are just now getting it. So let's go ahead and go back on the channel real quick. I want to go back on the channel real quick and see when exactly I confirmed this. Um, it says two months ago I confirmed 73 and 74 like I talked about them. Okay, so one month ago, and I don't know exactly what day, but it was like over a month ago that I did confirm what Elite Series 75 was. I confirmed like three or four figures in that set, I think. And it's really cool to find out, you know, the last couple of days that uh, most of those were correct. So that's really awesome that, uh, you know, when I post up something like that, then more than likely it is going to be true. Even though they are subject to change and stuff like that, I just think that's pretty cool that my sources have actually worked out and panned out. So that's pretty, that's pretty w wicked, bro. Shout out Matt Riddle. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get into it today. We're going to look at Elite Series 75 that was confirmed by Ringside Collectibles, and we're going to take a look at that that set. And they actually did this like a few days ago. I just am just now getting it up to you guys. And I do apologize that the MDT Monthly Battle Royal was not posted yesterday, and I'll probably have it up this week sometime maybe. It's just because I've just been trying to work on Hell's Gate because um, I haven't even started the actual show yet because I've been trying to get the rest of the other things done like there were still some minor things that had to be done before I started it so now I have between now and the 31st of December to get that show up and I think I'll be able to do it but you know I, j I just wanted to let you guys know that so I am grinding on it I just you know had to get all those other things done but now it is full fledged ahead and that is what I'll be doing every single day up until and that is why the MDT monthly battle royal was not posted it was because I was focused more on Hell's Gate and I'm sure you guys care more about Hell's Gate than the monthly battle royal but there will be a monthly battle royal for December or uh, November's will be posted in the next week. We'll just have to see that and play that by ear. But getting into a WWE Elite Series 75, guys, let's go ahead and shut the hell up. Get into it here with Elite Series 75 and the the figure wave you can see there, you can't see that it is Kalisto, Seth Rollins, Mandy Rose, Pete Dunne, Jeff Hardy, and Shane Hurricane Helms. And Hurricane is the Chase variant. And you guys know that we did see a lot of these figures, I think, at Ringside Fest or San Diego Comic-Con. I think it was San Diego Comic-Con, maybe. But uh, what a great set. I think in my video I pointed out the Seth and Pete Dunne and possibly Hurricane were a part of Elite 75. I know for a fact I said Seth. And I know for a fact I said Jeff Hardy and maybe Pete Dunne. I think those are the three I confirmed. I can't remember. But anyways, getting into it, guys, we are going to take a look at all of these, all of these figures, or at least a couple of them, and then we're going to kind of talk about what potentially could be the rest of them. But first off, let's start off with Kalisto. So Kalisto does look really good. You guys know that in Elite Series 73, we did get Grand Metalik, and then Elite Series 74, which is the next set that we'll release, we are getting Lince Dorado, so that will be two of our three coming into Elite Series 75, and then when we get Kalisto as a part of Elite 75, that will be our full Lucha House Party wave or set of our tag team slash faction there, so that'll be really cool to complete that. I bet those will look really good. I know they're kind of all three in different colors and stuff like that, but um, I think that they will still look pretty good all up next to each other. Now that I'm thinking about it, I guess they all do kind of have like some blue in there, so I guess that would look really, really good all up next to each other, and I think the Kalisto is going to be really strong. I like the face sculpt that we got going on. I like the colors and everything. And this is going to be our first Kalisto where he is not wearing long tights. So that's pretty wicked right there to get a new Kalisto in the shorter trunk look that Kalisto likes to wear. But the next figure in Elite Series 75 is Seth Rollins. And this is kind of crazy because we do know that Elite Series, uh, the Elite Top Picks 2020 line is going to also include Seth Rollins. So we don't know if this Elite 75 Rollins is going to be the Royal Rumble. 2019 Rollins where he won the Royal Rumble or if this is going to be a new Rollins maybe the Avengers gear maybe the Mania 35 gear maybe the I mean there's so much there's so many gears that he's worn since the beginning of 2019 that uh, there, there's a lot of options that we could have right here but uh, I, I would feel that this would probably be the Royal Rumble one, even though that top picks one is coming too. I really don't know. I mean, it's kind of a toss-up in the air. There's so, Again, like I said, there's so many different attires that it could be for Seth Rollins, so we'll just have to play that by ear. But uh, if I had to guess, uh, it's kind of difficult. I don't know. 
It's it's really hard to say. I'm I would say that Elite 75. I would say that it is going to be the Royal Rumble attire for Elite 75, just because we saw it at Comic Con. We saw the little digital render, and it was that Royal Rumble attire with that same basic head sculpt from Series 102. So if I had to guess, that would be the case. And then for the Top Picks 2020 Elite, they would switch it and give us something brand new. But I could be wrong about that. Again, it's just a shot in the dark. But I would say just because we that is the same place we saw the render for Hurricane. It's the same place we saw the render for Pete Dunn, and it's the same place we saw other things that are coming out just now. Who's texting me? So uh, that is just uh, what I think about Seth Rollins going for for Elite 75. But moving on in the in the rest of the wave, guys, we do have Elite Series 75 Mandy Rose, which is the third figure in the set, which is a really strong figure. I think this figure looks much better than her other Elite, um, or her not other Elite. She hasn't had another Elite, but her other basic, I should say. Her other basic had a massive head, and it had like uh, that gold attire, and it was just really stiff. And it, it had the, the biggest problem with it is it looked like a bobblehead. The head was way too massive. And so seeing this new Mandy Rose, um, one thing I will say is it's probably too skinny. You know, Mandy Rose has pretty good arm size. She has pretty good leg size, and she does have a lot of muscle tone. So I think that this is definitely not accurate as far as that's concerned. Maybe there's some parts out there you could switch it with. Maybe some China arms when we get the China Elite, or maybe some different thighs that we could put on there but uh, ultimately this figure is going to be a little bit too skinny in my personal opinion for Mandy Rose but I still think it looks like her I think it has a pretty face and everything and uh Probably not as good of an attire as the gold one. You know, it is just solid black, it looks like. But uh, it, overall, I still like the Mandy Rose figure, and it'll be cool to replace that terrible basic that we got the first time. So I am happy to have a Mandy Rose Elite, and hopefully she gets featured on TV a little bit more. You know, I think she's gotten a lot better, so that would be nice. But moving on to the next figure in Elite Series 75, guys, is Pete Dunn. And Pete Dunn, we did see the render of it, and now we do have a final image of it that we saw at Ringside Fest, I think, was the first time we saw that, or that wrestling shop um that wrestling shop event i think maybe we saw it both times i can't remember but uh he is going to come with the united kingdom championship which is really really nice it, it's about time that we got another one of those uh maybe we'll get another one when it comes time for for a walter elite or something but we'll have to see about that um i think p dunn looks super good i love the beard head sculpt that we got going and I love that we're getting a longer hair mold for Pete Dunne because the other one is like a really early Pete Dunne. And, um, you know, it sucks that they're both in the black attire. You know, the, the first Pete Dunne was in a black attire. And now we're getting another black attire Pete Dunne. And this one it has even more black. Not only does he have a black singlet, but he has a black fur coat. He has the black wrist tape. And he has black kick pads. So it is a full black attire. I can't remember the event in which he wore this, uh, this attire, but... Um, I still think that it's a Pete Dunn, and I'm always happy to have a Pete Dunn. I love Pete Dunn. Uh, fantastic talent and everything. And uh, hopefully this one will be a lot more easier to get than the first go around. I know that a lot of people struggled finding that. A lot of people still don't even have that collector's edition, the Target exclusive Elite 64 Pete Dunn. So hopefully uh, this one will be a lot easier easier to track down. I know that some figures in some ways end up getting like ridiculous in price, and so that's sh that's shitty, man. We don't like that, so hopefully it will get fixed here with this Pete Dunn, and we won't have to worry about that issue. So um, hopefully this one will be a little bit easier to track down. Maybe people won't want it, and you know, whatever. I, I highly doubt that, because Ciampa and Johnny Organo are kind of expensive now already, and they were a part of Elite 69 and 70, but you know, you never know. You never know with different elite waves and figures increasing and decreasing. Sometimes they're ten dollars on Amazon, and sometimes they're fifty dollars on eBay. So you just have to, you know, just pre-order them and hope you get one or two if you really, really want the figure. But that is it for Pete Dunn. Moving on, we do have Jeff Hardy, and this one is impossible to tell. I don't know what the hell this one could be. I really do not because. Um, we haven't seen any render images. I would hope it would be a flashback Hardy because we've gotten so many current day Hardys. But uh, I, I'm always down for Jeff Hardy. doesn't really matter what era it is. I love Jeff Hardy. Definitely one of my favorite talents of all time. But we've had the Elite 67. We had the Elite 71. We had, uh, there, there's so many. I mean, there's so many. Survivor Series Elite. Uh, it was the Chase variant. We had the Elite 57, the Shop Exclusive, the Ringside Exclusive. So there's definitely a lot of Hardy Boys out there. Entrance greats, epic moments. So I'm all happy for them pumping out the Hardy Boy figures. I will buy them as they keep 
continuing to make them. I'll keep buying multiples, so they're fine with me. I'll keep buying them, but we haven't seen a render image. We don't know what it's going to be, and not only do we get him in Elite Series 75, but I think he is also a part of the Top Picks 2020 Elite line, so we know we're getting an Elite 75, and we're getting that 2020 Top Picks Elite, so uh, it seems like Jeff Hardy figures are going to continue to be pumped out at an alarming rate. So maybe they'll do a flashback for the main wave and Elite 75 for Jeff Hardy. And then for the top picks, they'll do more of a current Jeff Hardy. But we don't know. Well, I just have to play that by ear and see how that goes. So, um, But I'm excited. I'm excited to see which one it is for both of those. I'm really, really excited to see which one is which and which attires we get. But it is cool to see another Jeff Hardy. And then finally, guys, is the Chase variant of the set. And it is Hurricane Helms or Hurricane or Shane Helms, whatever the hell you want to say. And it is going to be the Hurricane looking very good in his Ruthless Aggression attire right here. Uh, I love the short hair. This is our first short hair Hurricane. And it is our first Hurricane Elite figure. We have had a couple basics, I think, in the past with the Hurricane. And the both of them look really, really good. Um, I have a custom Elite of the Hurricane. So this will be a nice change of pace and a different look for him. So I am excited to add this to the collection. And I'll probably end up getting both because I, I am excited to see what you know the Chase variant is going to look like compared to the regular version. But I think both of them will look really, really good. And I'll probably do like a fix-up. Uh, almost vomited and I will probably do a fix up where we do like white kick pads completely just to kind of see what that looks like but Hurricane does look really really nice I love it I think it's fantastic and I think that is pretty much it for WWE Elite Series 75 again I did want to put this up to you guys I know that it is a little bit late but I know there are a lot of you that didn't see it and I know that uh, I wanted to show all that off to you guys but again, I have not started on Hell's Gate just yet as far as the filming portion. Again, there were so many little things that I had to get done and little tedious things I had to get done. So, And uh, I was actually dealing with a lot of sickness. I was like super weak last week. Like it was ridiculous. Like it, I was struggling to even just make videos, guys. It was really, really tough and everything like that. But I am going to start it here today and I am very excited to get started. But uh, thank you guys so very much and everything like that for the patience. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know down below what you think of Elite Series 75 and what attires you think they're going to be for Jeff Hardy and Seth Rollins. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.